Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today we will be developing a new game on the website code.org. This game is going to contain two sprites. One is a board which we are able to control with our left and right arrow keys and the other is a ball which is traveling randomly in our canvas. This game is going to consist the same logic as we used in our previous game video in my previous video we made a program in which there's a random obstacle in the middle and our ball it's traveling randomly around our screen so let's go ahead and learn how to make this kind of game so if you haven't viewed my previous video you can go ahead and copy the link in the description below in this video, I'll just be carrying on from what we did in my previous video, okay? So let me view my code and this was the, uh, this was our code which we wrote in my previous video to make our um, program. It was this program. Now, as we did in our previous game, we have to create we have to create a board which is in um which is further down our screen so let's give our obstacle let's rename it and turn it into a board because it no longer remains our obstacle so let's change over here, uh, our obstacle name over here too let's re give it a position of 170 and 380 so the y-axis of our board it's going to be in the 380 position so let me just show you now our board is over here okay now what we'll do is that we'll give our board characteristics or movement so if we press our right arrow keys our obstacle will move our board will move to the uh, right if we press the left arrow key our obstacle or, or our board should move to the left so let's go ahead and type in that code but to do this we'll have to learn a new type of function this function is called if condition in the if condition we can uh, give the computer and um, we have to give the computer a statement in which if that statement is true the computer is going to read what's inside the if condition so let me show you let's go to the control area and as you see over here there's an if condition over here with a blank space in front of our if let's drag and drop it underneath a background and in this blank position we we're going to write a statement so if this statement is true the computer will read it and if it's not true if it's false the computer will just go through it will forget it okay so in this statement let's write if key down in the world area if we press for example the right key the board will get an x velocity okay let's type in board dot velocity x equals four because we want it to move to the right and if we press our right key so this um, condition means that if we press our right key key down right means if we press right key our board gets a velocity x of four we we have wrote four over here because um as you can see over here uh, wherever our cursor goes in our canvas the x and y position of our screen of our cursor will be shown underneath so right now where my cursor is the x position of it is 176 and the y position of it is 138 okay so if my if i move my cursor to the right 
you will see that the x axis of my cursor gradually moves it increases so that's why we have row over here board, board dot velocity x equals 4 rather than minus 4 okay now let's do the same for our left okay so if world area let's find our key down function key down if we press our left key if key down left then board let's go to sprites board dot velocity x equals minus four now let's give it a go and run our program as you can see with my left and right arrow keys i'm able to control my board but there's a problem in this that when i release my left like for example if i press my right arrow key and release it my board it will still be traveling at that place like if i press my right arrow key it will, and even if i release it my board will still be uh, traveling to my right to fix this problem we will we will need to use an else condition as well so let's in our in our condition in our if condition there's an addition sign as you can see i'm going to click on that addition sign and automatically there's going to be an else condition that's going to be displayed now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to put another if condition inside my else condition so if so if we press if we press the right arrow key then board dot velocity x equals four else if our key if key went up right so if our right key goes up then our board dot velocity x equals zero so if we press the right arrow key then the board dot velocity x equals four is the board gets a velocity of four and if else if we stop pressing our right arrow key then board dot velocity x equals zero so it has no velocity and it won't be moving anymore let's do the same for our left key if key down left board dot velocity x equals minus four else if world in the world area key went up left if our left key goes up and we stop pressing it then the velocity x of our sprite in our in this case our sprite is board board of velocity x equals zero now you see that my program it's working perfectly and when i release my uh, arrow keys the uh, the board it stops moving so this is what we wanted now let's change the color of our of our background to make it a little different from our previous program our previous program had a background color of yellow let's maybe give the background a cyan color it's my favorite color so now the pro the our game it has a cyan color of a background in my previous video i told you that i would be teaching you how to make an animation out of the sprites so that uh, they look a little bit more interesting and a little more fun to play with so let's just go ahead and dive into the animations to make animations we will see that in our sprites area where we will get different types of functions the second function is sprite.setAnimation as you can see over here 
I'll just drag and drop it just beneath where I've made my sprite. So our sprite's name is ball in this case. Dot set animation animation one. Now to make our own animations, what we're going to do is we ha we're going to go to this. Um, this is our code where we're going to write our code. But on the other side, you'll see this animation written over here. So I'm going to press it. And as you'll see over here, this says add a new animation on the left to begin. So let's click on the addition sign. And we'll see there's an animation library in which we can choose our own animations and apply them to our sprites. So for a bow, let me go into all. So all the sprites, all the animations will be here. And these are the pages. So you can choose any uh, animation over here and you can apply it to uh, your sprite. In this case, I'll just take a private token and go back to our code area where we write our code and over here let's just type in the parrot token one now our bull will have an animation of the parrot token one as i showed you a little earlier let's run the program and as you'll see there's a really big sprite there's a really big sprite now because our animation it has no specific size of it so to make this a little smaller we'll change the scale of our animation so in our sprite section only there's going to be scale function sprite.scale i'll drag it over here so ball.scale so every animation it has a set scale of one so the um, really big ball you were seeing had a scale of one because we want to make it really much smaller than that we'll give it a, a scale of 0 0.1 you can alter the scale of your sprite your animation you can uh, change it to your taste but i'm going to go with 0 0.1 now let's do the same for our board i'll drag and drop the sprite dot set animation function in this sprite this sprite is our board sprite we'll go to the animation where the animations are made we'll add a new animation so these are the old animations as you can see I might choose you can choose anything of your taste I'm gonna well I might choose the box too though this thing's name is box two and one I'll go back to my code area press the arrow key and select my animations name now you will see the same problem occurs with our board like it did with our ball so like we did with our ball let's change the scale of our board so board board dot scale 0 0.5 now you can see our scale and our game looks perfect and we can it's really fun to play with so before i conclude my video i want you to know that you can switch your block text into um into a block code into the text mode so you can do that by just pressing the top right button over here and what you'll see over here is the same code we wrote in blocks just converted into the text so in the description below of this video i have posted the url for a github profile in that github i have um, showed you the same text so in case you face any difficulty or you don't want to write the code you can just copy and paste it into the code.org uh, text mode so i think that's it and i'll see you in my next video